diabetes is a condition affecting millions of people worldwide so doctor what is an ayurvedic approach to diabetes we approach diabetes through ayurveda or through any system uh, we have to improve the insulin level in the body that means uh, diabetes actually diabetes is actually manifested when there is a reduced insulin producing cells in the body that is more than 80% of cells are damaged only 20% cells are only remaining then only diabetes is manifested so that is the most common cause of diabetes one part another part when there is a reduced function of the insulin producing cell is also a reason so these two things are combined mainly along with one more addition is increased insulin resistance that means insulin is produced but that insulin is not properly working in the body these three are the main reason for manifestation of diabetes this is what is addressed by treatment in ayurveda in treating diabetes that means we will we will target our medicines our methodologies to improve the beta cells in the pancreas one one side another one side we will increase the functioning of existing beta cells sometimes beta cell may not be properly functioning that may be a cause for the manifestation of diabetes so we can uh, tone up the functioning of beta cells insulin producing beta cells at the same time we have to we have to give another one hand to one side that is insulin resistance resistance can be approached by some other methodologies this is the general protocol to be adopted along with obviously a diet regulation that means carbohydrate is a major reason so we have to regulate the intake of carbohydrate likewise we can have a good control by ayurvedic or siddha methodologies in ayurveda in treating this condition doctor your thoughts about this actually considering diabetes i will start with the meaning of the diabetes itself actually that term diabetes means excessive urination so there are three main classes of diabetes that is that are clinically important and uh, considering uh, this uh, diabetes mellitus there are two types type 1 and type 2 the type 1 is insulin dependent diabetes mellitus and the type 2 is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus the type 1 di- diabetes mellitus will be appearing uh, from the childhood age itself from birth itself usually and the non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus is a uh, what to say it, it is an age oriented it usually comes at the, during the age old period but nowadays it is common in adulthood also that is non insulin dependent diabetes mellitus because there the in, role of insulin in nididm is uh, not uh, so not particular because that is being caused due to lifestyle uh, what say uh, non unhealthy lifestyle patterns and the lifestyle corrections can actually manage nididm for a for a for a greater extent so this type 1 and type 2 diabetes mellitus has to be managed in our clinics in our indian uh, medical practice clinics in in a similar way because type 1 diabetes we cannot cure, cure it completely we can help them manage help them cope up with the insulin levels and also the sugar level in the blood primarily uh, the patient will be concerned about the blood sugar level and also their uh, what say that uh, further complications that will be happening as part of the diabetes usually diabetic retinopathy diabetic neuropathy diabetic arthropathy and a lot of diseases because it is a systemic disease it is it is uh, particularly a lifestyle disorder, a disorder and hence it will be affecting the entire system it will be what say it will destroy that circadian rhythm that entire rhythm will be lost of the body that is the condition so the management will be in that mode okay so ayurvedic management is also like this or is there a difference no most similar for managing in such conditions diabetic conditions actually as doctor said complications is a main issue yeah. prolonged hyperglycemic status that means high blood sugar levels in the blood will cause organ damage oh. that organ damage will end up in a various other other issues especially end organ complications like kidney problem or minute micro angiopathy like uh, diabetic retinopathy so it gets dangerous it gets so dangerous it is very dangerous because uh, once it is there it is it is it is almost irreversible True. so in such conditions we have to give proper care by controlling blood sugar level in the blood in a controlled manner it should not go beyond up to a limit usually blood glucose we have to control blood glucose level after a food below 140 in a diabetic patients it is very difficult to control below 140 but it can extend up to 160 but above 160 it is going and it is very prolonged period it may lead to end organ complications so in such situations we will adopt our shodhana procedure like uh, snehavana then uh, vamana virejana like shodhana procedures can give little more response from the pancreas 
so gradually it will increase a little more production it will it will promote a beta regeneration of pancreas i already told the regenerative potential of pancreas can be utilized for treating diabetes along with the dysfunction of the pancreatic beta cells can be addressed in both both can be addressed at a time by using uh, therapeutic methods like shodhana procedures once we impl- uh, deploy the shodhana properly then the proper diet pattern is advised we can con- have a very better control very good uh, glycemic levels along with some added methodologies to control the stress factor because stress factor is also a major major playing part in the uncontrolled diabetes even though you are not taking a food for 3 days mm-hmm. still the, some uh, some fellows are suffering high blood sugar high it happens from the excessive stress levels that should be managed accordingly along with the other therapeutic measures okay so in siddha also what type of internal medications do you uh, recommend c- considering diabetes uh, not only internal medicines also external therapy is, is is to be adopted because there's some sort of complications will be accompanying that diabetes because in most of the cases patients will be uh, coming when it is completely manifested and it becomes more prominent then only they will be coming to our our system usually so uh, considering that trend we have to uh, consider both parts internal medicine and external medicines also including that lifestyle management also it is uh, considering diabetes that lifestyle management has to be given primary importance because uh, that uh, including that you, most of the diabetic cases the causation of the disease will be primarily because of sedentary habit and because uh, if if you are taking some food the energy that is generated from the digestion of that food has to be used for the bodily activities and uh, rest of the energy will be stored as fat in our body so when we are eating overeating too much food then there will be a lot of energy generated and our nature of the body is to store that the rest of the energy will be stored but at the end the result will be obesity that udal paruman in tamil we used to call like the udal paruman that has to be regulated that obesity management is particularly important in case of diabetes so the most of the treatment will be starting from that aspect we will be regulating their lifestyle we will be uh, tuning their life lifestyles uh, including the food habit their exercise pattern their sleep pattern everything has to be tuned so that this obesity can be eradicated gradually we cannot implement everything uh, to the patient from the first moment itself because they have already uh, what's uh, used up with that sedentary habit we have to gradually implement this habits and at the same time from the beginning itself that primary medicine we used to give is turmeric and tripala both those two are has, uh, are given primary importance in case of diabetic management and one such another uh, herb that is given primary importance is guduji seendil in tamil seendil that is tenospora codifolia that has been given primary importance in the management of diabetes doctor can you suggest some internal medicines for diabetes care actually for diabetic care we have some wonderful medicines in our own our own system means uh, shantigiri medicine specifically that's what i feel personally one medicine is meninoki churnam meninoki churnam can be used regularly one packet what is the advantage means it can control the excess fluctuations of the sugar like hypo hyper that type of fluctuation these fluctuations are making most of the complications in diabetic patients so slightly maintain yes if you are taking uh, these medicines it will gradually maintain your blood glucose level in a proper way mm-hmm. one medicine another one very important very very important medicine is panjamardhi rasam because when you use panjamardhi rasam what is i have observed in my personal practice and my experience it will prevent the end organ complications up to a limit especially targeted towards the kidneys because in diabetes most common and most dangerous irreversible complication is kidney failure because uh, we cannot do anything in a kidney failure once it is attained once a stage 4 uh, kidney failure like uh, uh, kidney ejection tra- kidney regulations kidney filtration rates everything is reduced very low it will be very difficult to come back so this will be prevented by regular administration of this panchamardhi rasam so that is a wonderful medicine in my uh, perspective also jambolin one tablet we are having that is also a very good medicine this will all uh, jambolin tablet will specifically work on the regenerative potential of pancreas if you are taking regularly gradually the insulin in secretion in your blood will be improved if you are taking uh, from the day one when you observe after 30 days there will be variation in the insulin secretion volume because it is very very important in in managing uh, diabetes so what about siddha medications actually uh, considering the treatment part uh, as as i have already mentioned 
that internal and external treatments are has to be given equal importance because uh, diabetic complications are an important part so uh, i will start with the meninoki churnam itself because meninoki churnam rather than being a direct medicine for diabetes it is particularly important for dadu vritti because uh, dadu kshayam is an important uh, what's a after effect of diabetes it is it will be gradually eating up like uh, that termite like it like it, it will be eating up the body so it that each dadu that sapta dadu that seven dadus they will be gradually what say they will be replenished mm-hmm. by the regular intake of meninoki churnam mm-hmm. at the same time there are other medicines like jambolin capsule jambolin capsule is primarily as a, an anti diabetic medicine we can use it directly at the same time there is another capsule prameha kalpam capsule that's a proprietary medicine of shantiri that is actually uh, meant for controlling diabetic complications particularly vada related complications that will be that capsule will be helping in that at the same time there are many classical formulations in ayurveda and siddha uh, that is given primary importance for these meha diseases because diabetes is only a single one among the 21 types of meha diseases mentioned in our traditional systems of medicine it is only one 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 single disease at the same time there is a 21 classification is there for the ent- entire that genito urinary tract infections and these type of uh, what to say uh, excess urination uh, whatever the diseases that are causing excess urination are cl- classified under this uh, meha 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 noigal there are 21 types of that also it is only just one thing madumeha that is the only thing that we are addressing like diabetes mellitus so managing that uh, like uh, these internal medicines that i have already mentioned there are many other medicines also including uh, this some um, kashaya formulations um, uh, like uh, nishagada gadi kashayam is there that's uh, in, in swadam shodam stradi kashayam shodam stradi kashayam that will be helping in managing kidney related um, manifestations in diabetes and also many other kashaya formulations are there in siddha there is madumeha churnam seendil churnam seendil kudinir there are some basma chendura formulations like uh, abraga chenduram and, and uh, these type of medicines will be helping in the management of diabetes in our systems in short ayurveda and siddha interventions can help prevent the diabetic complications and hence improve the quality of life